Hi, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so happy you're here. Well, I'm sorry this is late, but I just got back from seeing my dad in the rehab center. And oh, I tell you what, that's heartbreaking to see your parent in a place like that. I'm just, it just really, really tore me up. But I know that he has to be there so he'll get better and get to come home. So we're just praying that everything works the way it's supposed to work. So anyways, I wanted to get on here and do group play because I'm starting my new group play. And if you haven't already, it is located in the description box on my Google Drive and you'll get these pieces. So you'll get one for October. Now mine is messed up, but yours will not be. I meant to put a six there and I, I did not. So mine's messed up, but like I said, yours will be fine. December and then November and then one for September. So we're going to play the rest of the year and I hope you will join us. Now, I didn't include another um, envelope because I just thought you could get it from the other bingo that we played. And so that's what I was going to do. So I thought that y'all could do the same thing if you would like. And so we're going to play this game and we're going to play our um, group play with Miss Judy. We got a new game, Team Tetris with Star Budgets. And let's see. We have Plinko Party. Now, I didn't ever get around to laminating it, but I did get it printed. So, we'll just jot it down in there. Now, I don't even know if she's playing this anymore. Um, I need to go and watch her video because I have not. I have been barely making it through videos because I've just been so busy with my dad. And I know that y'all... I'll understand you always tell me that you understand but I still want to get caught up and so today we're just going to play here and if she is playing it then we'll put her numbers down here and then if I win or lose we'll put extra money but today we're just going to play the regular just us and then I'll go and check that out so we've got a few to play we also have a scratch off from Miss Elaine Realize Woods and Winter now, the only one that I do not have is one from Ellie on Earth because I totally messed up. I have been receiving them for so long that I thought that I was still on the mailing list. Well, because I've been behind on videos, I didn't realize that she had a new mailing list. So, therefore, I didn't get on the list for the one this year or, or this time frame. And I'm really disappointed because I really, really liked the ones that I saw on other people's videos so I was a little disappointed I didn't get it but that's okay she does have one that I can download and include I just haven't gotten to it yet so I will definitely get that included because I started playing group plays because of Ellie and so I always want to make sure that I have one of hers in my video so anyways so let's see where we're going to start um, let's play mine. No, that doesn't seem right, does it? Okay, we're going to go with Miss Judy's first. And we know that she saved $13. And I haven't even counted my money out. These are all my playing pieces. I did each one to match the month. So, that'll be fun. Okay, so... We have $50 here, 60, 70, 80. So we have $80 to play with. So if we get through them and we have money left over, then I'll just put it towards another savings challenge. All right. I just counted these so I know those are right. So this is the gnome that she's working on. And I believe she saved $13, if I remember correctly. Let's see. $13, and I think, let's see, what was Sunday's date, guys? I don't even remember. Um, today is the 5th. 
fourth, third, second, first. I think it was the first. We're going to go with the first. I don't guess it really matters. I just like to kind of keep an eye on it. So we owe this one $13, and we're starting over. Because if you recall, whatever I take out for each month, that I, I take it out and put in my sinking funds because I just, I have to. So let's see here. What, how do I want to color him? He's got a sunflower, so that's definitely going to be um, yellow and brown. So let's see. Let's do this, this brown. Okay, so we're going to do this brown right here. Are y'all excited about fall? I am. I'm ready for it. In one of my last videos, I asked a question about what was your favorite part of fall. And boy, did y'all not disappoint. Y'all have given, given me so many different memories. Because every time, like I had my favorite. And then you would say one. I was like, oh, but I like that too. And so I was just like, oh my goodness. I... I have a lot more than I realized. So it brings back memories of growing up and doing these things with my family and with my children. So thank y'all for always commenting and answering questions. It makes me so happy to see those comments. I just love it when y'all comment so I can comment back. And I love it when you like my videos. And of course, subscribe. I want you to be a part of the family. All right, so we got our cute little sunflower colored. Let's see. I think we're going to do a green hat. Okay, let's see. Let's do green right here. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty green. see he needs I think he needs a let's do let's do a blue um, outfit you know I really don't know this kind of looks like a dress <laughs> but it's I think it's supposed to be pants, but I don't really know. I don't really know what gnomes wear. So, have y'all started your football season, those that still go to the football games for high school? We are on our third game starting tomorrow night already. It's hard to believe. I don't know where the time goes. Okay, um, we're going to let him have a yellow sleeve, just because, why not? He can be super colorful. There we go. And I think we'll let him have the same color beard as the inside of the flower. Yeah. So as you know, I have started asking questions in my videos. And I was trying, I was th sitting at work today and I was like, what can I ask tonight? And I was like, I was kind of drawing a blank. Because I like to ask fun questions but also learn something about you as I ask the questions. So, but sometimes, you know, you just have to think, okay, well, it's whatever comes up to talk about, you know. So, I'm hoping that I'll come up with a good question before this video is over with. I'm sure I will. Okay. All right. 
So now all we lack is our feet. Oh, I've missed a, a sleeve. I'm going to go back and get that. Let's see, we need our yellow back. I hope this is the right one. And there we go. And I think he's going to have gray shoes on today. There we go. We did it, guys. Isn't he cute? We did so good. Okay, so we owe this $13. So 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now, one question I have for you. It's not the question that, you know, I'm thinking on. But I would like to know, are there any other group challenges you want me to check out? Because I've got a couple more that I'm going to go check out that I had from a couple other people say they would like for me to check it out. And so I'm going to go check those out. But please let me know if there's some other good savings challenge um, group play that you'd like for me to check into. Alright, so Miss Save with Judy is finished for today. Now we have this new game from Star Budgets. So let's see. I got the instructions. It says goal is to create as many solid rows as possible. How to play. Assign a denomination for each block piece. Each week I will choose one block piece at random. You must use this piece the next time you play. Okay. And she picked this one this time. Okay. Starting on the bottom row, color the game board squares replicating the block piece I choose um, that week and any other block pieces you wish to play or use at that time. Save amount you allocated for each piece played including mine. You can play as many block pieces as you want each time but one piece must be the piece I choose. Save an additional five dollars for every solid row you create and have fun. Okay. So now we got to figure out how much these are going to be. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I say let's roll the dice and see what each piece will be. That way we don't have to think about it. We can just let it decide for us. I really need to clean my desk off, guys. This is kind of crazy. Okay. So, let's see. Let me get a, a die. We're going to just do a one through uh, six. Okay, so here we go. This is for this one. Four. Okay. All right, now this one. Two. And this one. Four. Oh, boy. Oh, goodness, six. <laughs> this is going to be expensive. Okay, four. What's up with the fours? You know, I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to cheat. <laughs> Another four. Come on. No. Two. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, so we have two fours, two twos, and a six. Let's see. One or five. Three. Okay. Now I want at least. Now we're going to do one. <laughs> I don't even know why I bothered. <laughs> Y'all are probably rolling your eyes at me about now. But those were, some of those were high. Okay. So here we go. So we need to pick out our colors. So we need, we definitely have to do this green. So let's see here. 
I think I'm going to use, I'll see. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these. All right, so we have to start down here. So we will, I'm not real good at this, so let's see. We're going to start right over here. And we're going to do, let's see, do one, two here, and two here. Is that how that goes? No. Two here and here. Okay. So we color these in. A little squiggly. And then this one. And this one. And this one. Okay. So there is two dollars. So we owe four, no, two dollars. All right. Now let's see. I mean, I can you move these like the way you want to? Can, like, can you turn them this way, or do they have to go? I guess they have to go exactly the, lay the way she's got them laid. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Then we need to do this one. So we need a pink. We'll use this pink color. Well, let's see. Yeah, we'll use this pink color. Okay, it's kind of a purpley pink. All right, so this needs to go here. And then here, and then two up. Okay, I've got a question. Comment below what your favorite game as a child was mine was um well it's kind of a toss up i like sorry but also always liked bingo so i know that shocks you all <laughs> all right so we have two more dollars going in all right, let's see. Now, what can we do? Um, let's do a yellow one, and that will be $5, and that will be a good start. Okay, so let's get our yellow. And so it will go see, right through here. And then one up. Yeah, I, I've always liked bingo. But I also liked sorry. I always liked playing games. Now, my kids growing up with, well, they were growing up, they liked to play something called um, apples to apples. And Uno. Okay, so we did we did good. We started our um, team te Tetris, and we saved our um, one that we had to save. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And I don't have a. I need to put this right here. I'll put the money in here. I need to. Uh, Put a little post it here. Let's see. So this is um, Team Tetris.
but this is one of my favorite times as the group plays. It's just really fun interacting with everybody. Okay, so we did that one. Now let's see what's next. Plinko party. Okay. So we need us a playing piece. And we need to be able to roll. Okay. So here we go. We're going to see what kind of damage we cause. All right, so here's our playing piece. Oh, I guess I need to fill this out. If we win, let's see. If we win, we have an extra $5, and if we lose, it's $2. Okay. So here we go. Number two. Okay. So here we go. We're going to start right there. Six. Six. Oh, I know a, I saw one that would look like it would be fun. And I think it's from um, Janet over at My Modern Homestead, if I remember correctly. I've got to go back. I, I was watching Miss Judy, and I think I saw her um, playing it. It's something about tiptoes. And so I thought that kind of looked interesting. So we might look into that, too. All right. So oh, I need to move to three. Okay. Three. Again. And six. All right. So we were doing $2. Let's write that in. And like I said, I will go see if she's playing this. And if she's not, then we'll just, after we fill these up, we'll just fill those up like we did last time. So let's play one more time, at least. So three. Six. Five. Two. three and six again all right so we we got let's say how does this work let's see one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six okay well i guess we saved two dollars again and all right so that's Two more dollars. All right. So we'll find our little Plinko party envelope and we'll put that in there. All right. So that's fun. Okay, so I think, yes, this is all for this binder. Now we're going to do this one from. Elaine realized it's her two kitty cats. Aren't they cute? So we're going to roll the dice and we're going to see which one we're going to do. Six. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do that one right there. And this is one of those that we don't know how much we're going to save. It's always a surprise. Looks like we're saving eight dollars right here. So I think that let me read this. Is this for I need to go back and see what she says, but let's see. One, two, three, four. I bet this is for September and October. So we're just gonna do one today on this side. One. Well, let's see. Let's see what we get on the other side. See if we can use one of these tens. Last time I didn't do the other side because they had already started it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start this one. So we can roll on this one. We're going to say $5. Oops. Don't need to write with that. Okay. So we're going to say $5.
So we've got 8, 13. Yay, we can use one. So 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay. So that's a good savings. We did real good, didn't we? All right. I think I will do this one in here. And we'll just slide this right in there with it. Okay. Now, it's my turn. Yay. I'm excited. All right. I put a lot of thought and effort into this. And I know that you're probably thinking, oh boy, bingo again. But I hope you like bingo. And if you don't, I'm sorry. Next time I do a group play, I'm probably going to do something different. Because I don't want y'all to get tired of doing bingo all the time. So this is the one we're working on this month. It's the September one. And let me get the playing pieces. Okay, here they are. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle them all up. And I think I'm going to roll the dice. And I will count that many in. And that's the one I'll pull. Does that make sense? And here's the, here's the thing. What I draw, if you can, save it. If you can't, do what you can do. It's totally your game. You do not have to save the same amount. Um, you do whatever, you know, you can do. Because this is about fun. No stressing. This is fun, a fun game. So we're going to get our little dice tower out. Let's see. Let's use a bigger dice. Let's see. This one goes through 12. Let's do that one. Oh, I don't know what I was going to do. Because we've got plenty of numbers. We need the poo does not want to sit up tonight. He's being lazy. Okay. So we've got them all shuffled. As you know, you saw. And we're going to roll the dice. And that's the I'm going to count down, and that's be the one we do. Seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And what we're going to do, let's see. I think I figured it out that, let's see, there's five, is there five weeks in September? Um... Shoot, I had that written down somewhere. We're going to do five tonight. There will be a couple of times where we have to do an extra pull just to get it. But we'll get there. So, there's the first one. And I'm going to shuffle them each time. Okay, number 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, and shuffle. I thought this would make it a little bit more fair, like, you know, just in case they were to get stuck together or something. <laughs> All right, number 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 11 again. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, guys, one more. Number nine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right. So we'll put our rubber band back around these because these have not been used. Okay. So let's see what we're saving tonight. All right, the first one is N6. So what I plan to do is um, just mark mine out with my little Sharpie here. So N6. Okay. N10, oh boy, 
Oh, I forgot to tell you. If you get a bingo, you can get a bingo a bunch of times, whatever you want to do. doesn't matter. Whatever bingos you want or have, you know, then you save whatever you want to save. But here's the twist. If you get a bingo in all four corners, I want you to save five extra dollars. So the four corners on this one, four corners, bingo, is five dollars. Any other bingo is your choice. Your choice. And I think I'm going to roll the dice to see what mine will be. Okay, back to it. So far we're saving $16, guys. G3. Okay. N2. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's like one. All right. Now, if you get a bingo, it's your choice of whether or not you want to um, keep playing. What I plan to do when I get a bingo is change colors. So, you know, it's up to you how you want to do that. You can either, you can play until we run out of all the cards. Or you can stop playing if you don't want to play anymore. It's whatever you want to do. It's totally up to you. I plan to play until I run out of cards because I want to save as much money as I can. All right. So last one. Oh, 10. That was close, wasn't it? Boy, howdy, did we draw the numbers this time? All right. So we have 26, 27, 28, 29, $30, guys. 30. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, the good thing is, is we got most of all the big numbers out except for this 12 over here. So it'll be easy next time. But you know what? If you can't do 30, you know, do half of it. That's fine. You don't have you. It's your game. Do what you want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And actually, I forgot I had a 10 over here, so we're going to take 10 of these back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Woo wee! So next week, it should be a whole lot cheaper. What do y'all think? So I hope you're not disappointed in the game. And I purposely put in some bigger numbers because I did have a couple of people say they'd like some higher numbers. So I kind of did a healthy mix. But an idea, if you can't do the double digits, then just add them together. So like on the 10, just do $1. For the 12, do $3. You know, the point is, is just to save. So comment below if you're saving the $30 or if you're going to do a little makeshift, in, which is fine totally great. So I hope you love it. I hope you like the way it looks and you will enjoy it. Comment below if you like it. I hope you, I hope you do. And we have some money left over, but I think I want to stop for tonight and we'll put that money elsewhere. And what I'm going to do is put these in the card or the money holder here. And we'll put those in there because they're used. And put a paper clip because I don't want it to bust open on me. Let's see here. Let's use a little Mickey Mouse clip. Okay. Now keep that closed. And um, we'll put this back up here. And normally my group plays kind of live in my little thing over here. But... Unless it gets out of control, like if I get a whole bunch more, then I'll, I'll make a binder for them. And I might do that anyways because it is kind of a tight, tight situation there. So anyways, I am so excited that I got to do 
the video tonight because I really like doing it on Thursdays. And I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to answer my question below. Let me know what other group plays that you like because I'm looking to add a few more because I think I do really want to make me a binder to keep it all together. So just let me know. And I hope y'all have a wonderful night. And again, I'm sorry it's late. But if you don't see it tonight, you'll see it tomorrow. So I hope you um, enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next one. I love y'all. Bye.